die. <laughs> that is what I'm feeling today. It is I, your girl, Aviola Abrams from AviolaTV.com, and I am so excited at being back here with you. I have missed you, missed you, missed you, but I am back, your love, body, spirit coach in full effect. I have been very busy getting something really special for you. My uh, sacred bombshell handbook of self-love is about to be birthed into the world. So we will talk about that in another video. But this video is all about fear. This will be an emotional freedom technique, EFT tapping video about fear that I am making for one of my clients who is dealing with fears that she has a really huge dream like so many of us right we have huge huge dreams or a huge calling we feel like you know we were given our talents and our, our own personal genius to birth something into the world and then we have that fear that holds us back and so this video is for her and it is for you uh, because so many of us we get these gifts right that we have you know will be it the gift to write the gift to nurse and care for someone the gift to parent the gift to sing the gift to dance um the gift to be an amazing accountant maybe you're incredible with numbers the gift to be an astrophysicist doctor lawyer whatever it is but sometimes what keeps you from going to the next level well always what keeps you from going to the next level is yourself it's our own fears that hold us back and i can tell you just for example recent example with the completing of my book um the sacred bombshell handbook was birth it's gonna be birth eight nine months later than i thought that it was originally supposed to come into the world and a part of my own procrastination and my holding off on it and all of that was fear. The fears of, oh my gosh, this is my second book. Um, but Dare was a fictional book, so I was able to hide behind fiction. Even though this is an advice guide, um, self-help, a spiritual book that I tell a lot of my own personal stories in it. So, oh my gosh, the exposure, feeling that vulnerable, feeling that transparent to come out there and say, hey, here's where I screwed up and here's where you don't have to. Fear, terror, terrifying. And so we get this voice that we hear, you know, the our, our inner bully that says, who do you think you are? And that's what we're afraid that everyone else is going to say. We're afraid of the judgment. We're afraid of being laughed at. We are afraid of not being enough. And so we keep ourselves small. And so, you know, I have felt that that is actually what my a big, the bulk of my work is going to be over these coming months. And, you know, uh, actually, if I think about it, some of my work has been about, about, you know, to, how to stop playing small. You know, how we can rise into our shine, how you can step into yourself. And so I say this to my wonderful sacred bombshell client, and I say this to you, my viewer, my friend, my sister, my brother, that this is the time. You know, we have heard the sayings like, you know, we only, there's nothing left to fear, but there's not, we have nothing to fear, but fear itself. And, you know, we are the ones we've been waiting for. And it may sound cool on a bumper sticker on a poster, but it's not what we can repeat. It's how we live our lives. And so EFT is a wonderful process that can interrupt some of our patterned thinking, our conditioned thinking, our go-to and help to reset our default to self-love, to self-empowerment, to that feeling of yes, 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 yes. I was given these talents and I was given these gifts and I am not going to disappoint the world or cheat the world of what I came to do, but I am going to birth what I came to birth, right? So if you have a big goal or a big dream or a small goal or a small dream. Actually, I don't think that there are any small dreams, even if it's, you know, to uh, to become your healthiest self, you know, to release uh, some excess body weight, to become the best parent that you could be, to um, to make it through the, the week with by being a, a loving and giving person, to move ahead, to, to shine, whatever it is, then this video is for you, okay?
Now, if you're not familiar with EFT, you can look at a couple of my other videos where I explain, but just follow around, follow along. Um, it's based on the ancient Chinese principle of acupressure. We know acupuncture, where they do the needles. Acupressure is where you tap on the meridians. And we have meridians running all through our bodies, but we are just working with specific meridians within this. So just follow along. All right, and repeat after me. Um, we start with the negative affirmations, the negative, um, the affirming of the fears that we have, and let's work our way through it. Let's do it together because you are not alone. You were born with a, a purpose and a function. And like one of my favorite ministers, Miss Rev, Reverend Kia, likes to say that your birth certificate is proof that God needed something new in the world. We like that, right? Can we get an amen? Yes. And so let's do it. Let's, let's become who we were meant to be. Let's step into it. Let's rise into our shine. All right? All right, let's do it. All right, we're gonna start with tapping on this point here, which is the karate chop point, all right? So repeat after me. Even though I feel small, I choose to love and accept myself. Even though I feel small, I choose to love and honor myself. Even though I feel insignificant, I choose to love, honor, and accept myself. I feel small. I feel insignificant, eyebrow point, side of the eye. I feel like I have nothing to offer under the eye. Sometimes I think I'm damaged beyond repair under the nose. Who am I to think I could do something special? Chin. Who am I to have big dreams and goals? Collarbone. I don't think I can make it. Under the arm. It's just too hard. Top of the head again. Why is it so hard? inside of the brow. I just want to make it outside of my eye, outside of your eye. But who do I think I am? Why should I have big dreams? Why should I be the one to succeed? Why should I be the one to make it? And what is making it anyway? You know, I'm scared. I am really terrified. What if I fall on my face? I might just make a fool of myself. I've embarrassed myself before. I have played myself big time. People have criticized me before. People might have even laughed at me. But I'm still here. And I'm still standing. Maybe I have something left to offer. <laughs> Maybe I'm not damaged beyond repair. Maybe I am talented. Maybe I was born with a purpose. Wouldn't it be nice if I felt like I was enough? Wouldn't it be nice if I felt safe? How incredible would it be 
to believe in me.